I found out about this project through my second year seniors when I first joined ITE. I thought that maybe we can uh, choose Kenosaville Children's and Community Services as our VWO. Uh, because uh, I find that they are, the services that they are providing are, are really on a large scale uh, towards the wider community. And so I thought that supporting them uh, in their services would be good. And what they are currently doing is to uh, serve a wider community such as uh, children with dyslexic and uh, children with hearing impairment, as well as the underprivileged uh, household families. We are already in the pipeline of planning our uh, our activities that we will be doing for our project. The first one is uh, hosting a gaming event. Uh, so the targeted people will be students from three IT colleges. And the second activity that we have planned out uh, is raising a, uh, hosting a fundraising event at various community centres. Based on last year's volunteer work in my Seniors YMCA Youth for Causes project, uh, I learned that uh, teamwork Teamwork is really important and staying positive is another very important thing. A message to you all, be positive. Uh, don't ever doubt yourself that you are not able to fulfill the, the, the execution of the activities which you will be doing. And lastly is to, is to just keep pushing yourself forward to the point. Happy 15th anniversary City YMCA Youth for Causes. IT College Res, besides um, inculcating our students in terms of their technical skill sets, we are looking towards the character development and I find that the YFC programs is rather structured. It develops the students in terms of their character, their confidence level, as well as evolving a social community awareness. Over the years, I would say within these six years of uh, Youth for Courses, um, most of our students at the end or the beginning, beginning till the end of the projects, I can see there's a little transformation in terms of their um, character. they becoming more responsible, more matured, able to be more empathetic towards the community at large. So they give back each year, though they have completed their YFC journey, they give back by being another mentor for their junior. That is a significant achievement these YFC programs can bring about for the youth. Our students not only must be equipped on the technical skill sets, we want them to build up their character, problem solving, and most important thing, their life skills. So these are something which Youth for Courses can allow our students to be a better citizens, able to, ab to, able to resolve problems in an open manner where they need not depend solely on solutions provided by the lecturers. They can come up with their own solution to tackle each problem and encourage words for students who either they are new for this team or for this YFC journey or who have also ever tagged along with their senior on the past YFC is to Think carefully to be more committed, okay, to have the social responsible, to care for the community. Most important thing is that they have to accept failures and learn as they go about in each milestones of the projects. Think about what they can do for the community, step out from the comfort zone and give themselves an opportunity to learn and to enjoy the process. Happy 15th anniversary, City YMCA Youth for Courses. We looked at various programs and one of them was the City uh, Youth for Causes program. It's a very comprehensive, uh, very detailed and very well thought out program. It gives the students a very uh, deep uh, learning experience in terms of social entrepreneurship. It, and, uh, it allows the students to work with so many uh, voluntary welfare organisations. Um, and also you uh, provide things like uh, training workshops, 
uh, mentoring program. So all in all, it was a very easy decision for us to you know, adopt uh, your program as one of our core activities. Of all the programs that we have uh, participated, I think this one is one whereby it gives the students such a wide-ranging uh, set of experiences. So for example, project management skills. The students have got to uh, uh, develop, design and then implement the business plans. And these activities are so wide-ranging. We have done concerts in uh, auditorium, concerts under the star. Uh, we have undertaken uh, merchandise street sales in Orchard Road. Um, we have invited uh, guide dogs to our school to, uh, to host uh, photo booths. Uh, we have done a quite massive social media outreach. So the activities are very wide-ranging and the students learn to um, liaise with various stakeholders, including suppliers, uh, their voluntary welfare organisations and along the way they learn a lot of skills. I like to think that um, our students learn to lend their shoulders you know, so that others can stand taller you know, or see further and, and to us I think these are really really very very important outcomes. But I think more important is that each and every of our students they have realised that they joined this programme with the idea of enriching others, raising funds to benefit others but I think in the end they are surprised because the person that they enrich and bless most is actually themselves. So I, I really, really encourage every youth with whatever talent, whatever uh, uh, gifts that you have, use it. Use it and live beyond yourself. Happy 15th anniversary, City YMCA Youth for Causes. We believe that YFC is actually a platform for us to reach out to students' group and promote youth volunteerism. Besides promoting the awareness of childhood cancer and raising funds for CCF, we believe YFC also allows students to develop the leadership quality and witness firsthand the impact that they can make and experience the joy of giving. It's a great feeling watching them grow with YFC. Students participating in YFC has actually helped CCF to raise awareness of child cancer and build a community of support for children with cancer and their families. At the same time, raising funds to fund the critical programs and services we offer for our beneficiaries. And uh, one of them includes financial assistance for our beneficiary, for example, um, for a bone marrow transplant or any other treatments when it's necessary. For YFC teams in support of CCF, some of the activities that they have done uh, are include street sales, uh, selling of CCF merchandise or their own DIY merchandise, or even concerts uh, performed by their own students, by their own peers. And at the same time, promoting awareness through things like exhibition. I remember once a team actually appeared with almost 100 uh, field team cans and it took us about 4 hours to count all the tin cans so it was crazy but yet heartening at the same time um, we are thankful for their commitment and passion towards uh, children with cancer Why I see it's a meaningful project to know more about yourself as well as to be a game changer and to help the community that you are in Happy 15th Anniversary City YMCA Youth for Causes We are Project Educa. Hi, we are Team Interactors. Hi, we are Project Murahi, and this year we are raising funds for Beyond Social Services. Hello, we are Team Apello from Temasek Junior College, and our SSO is Beautiful People. And we are a five man project from Wachong Institution. We are working with Care Singapore to help underprivileged children from broken families. Beyond Social Services is a charity dedicated to helping less privileged youth and children in Singapore to break out of the poverty cycle. We are working together with the Singapore Association for Mental Health to promote mental wellness for all Singaporeans. What really Be The Voice means is really to be passionate towards the cause that you believe in and to go full out. And I think I've seen in the youth today because I've seen people that come with an injured foot, that comes alone even despite the entire group not being here. And I think it's really heartwarming to see you guys being so passionate about the cause that you believe and dials and keep it up. 
here are some advice that we have for YFC teams. Well, some, some of the things that you could do is to try and make more friends, make use of your contacts, try and expand out to more people, make use of your school's management platforms. In YFC, it's really about building connections. So what you really want to try and do is to reach out to more people, to prioritize the time management and manage your volunteers effectively. Because looking back at some of our past experiences, these are the things that were really key aspects of our project, things that we really had to manage effectively. I've been a YMC mentor since uh, 2009. It's been an enriching experience for me. And, and I think that um, to, to really do well in this, you need to really have passion, uh, perseverance, and also in a way, uh, ongoing spirit to help the others. I think it's very exciting to see the, the young students come back uh, with their innovative ideas to raise funds, to raise awareness for, for their uh, own causes. I think uh, it's testament to the program of YFC and, and the, the benefits that the program has, has brought. Be the voice! Be the voice! Be the voice! Be the voice! YFC 2019, be the voice! because we saw the need for strong families in our society. Did you know that 15% of children in Singapore are having learning disabilities, but many are not identified and are struggling without appropriate support? We are the voice of women in Singapore. The aim of our project was to help underprivileged women in society as they undergo abuse as well as inequality. Through our project, we help to overcome the stigma that they face in society as well as support these underprivileged women. We were the voice for the disabled. We wanted to promote the acceptance for, towards the disabled and also to emphasize the importance of art as a form of therapy and as a form of empowerment. This year, together with the Singapore Cancer Society, we had painting sessions with volunteers from our school and Singapore Cancer Society Cancer Warriors to come up with artisan painted, hand painted cabrellas, which were then auctioned off to, for charity. This is our second time embarking on a YFC journey, so this is our second year in a row. And since the first year, we actually gained so much and we realised that we actually had the power to impact more and that inspired us to do the project again this year. Our YFC journey was like a roller coaster ride filled with many ups and downs. However, just like what our teacher said, go, go through, through what you go through. I think one thing that kind of goes to show with this activity is that you don't have to be someone who's experienced or you don't have to be someone who's a, a full-time volunteer or worker to actually make an impact in society. I think a lot of the times the young people around us can show us the kind of impact they can make and also the innovative solutions they bring um, to help society. So to future YFC teams, don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone because that's where the success happens. To future YFC teams, you guys have so much untapped potential that you don't even know about. You guys are really can dream big and make what you dream a reality. <laughs> Lastly, we are Team Interstellar and we will Cross through space and time to be there for you!
everyone, welcome to the Youth for Causes 2020 Award Celebration. I'm Ethan, and this is Jocelyn from the YFC Alumni Committee, and we are MCs for today. Hey Evelyn, you know, we all make history in our own unique way. For instance, Sir Edmund Hillary and Tenzing Norgay were the first climbers to reach the summit of Mount Everest. Roger Bannister was the first person to run the mile under 4 minutes, and the Wright brothers were the first to fly a powered airplane. Similarly, in our 18 years of YFC, you have created your own history in 2020 by being the first team to implement your project fully online. Well done! Yes, think about all the lives you impacted through your grit, adaptability and creativity. Therefore, today is all about celebrating your achievements, recognising those who have journeyed with you and reflecting on all the friendships and memories that you have created. To start, we would like to recognise the YSC Supportive Awards. They comprise of selected SSAs, mentors, schools and teachers who have gone the extra mile in journeying with their teams. Congratulations to our social service agencies, Children Cancer Foundation, Campus Impact and the Singapore Association for Mental Health. We have also have our mentors, Chu Tong Gan, Gaurav Gupta and additionally, we have our own unique husband-wife team, Ray and Grace Yap. For the schools, we have Tamasic Junior College, Dunman High School and Victoria Junior College. For the teachers, we have Grace Ong from Dunman High School, Christine Bernadette from North Vista Secondary School and Tan Kei Tech from IT College West. Next, we are glad to have Miss Stacey Lacey, Managing Director, Asia Pacific Shift Information Officer and Head of Operations and Technology from Citibank North America to say a few words. Mr Lawrence Wong, Minister for Education and Second Minister for Finance. Mr. Chiu Ying Chang, President YMCA of Singapore. Mr. Vincent Ha, Chairman, Youth for Courses Committee. Friends from partnering organizations, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. I am delighted to join all of you to celebrate the achievements of the youths who have completed their Youth for Courses journey. My heartiest congratulations to the 79 participating teams this year. In spite of all the COVID-related challenges, you committed to accomplish what you have set forth to achieve. I truly hope that you will continue these small steps you have taken through YFC to embark on a lifelong journey of serving the less fortunate and the underprivileged in our community. City Singapore is committed to enabling growth and economic progress for the communities that we serve. Since 2002, City Singapore has served as a strong advocate of financial inclusion and youth development and have committed more than $22 million to fund initiatives in these areas through City Foundation. Youth for Courses is one such program that complements our national efforts in building social leadership and community consciousness amongst youth in Singapore. And I'm glad that we have actively involved around 50 of our city volunteers to contribute to this worthy cause every year. It has been a privilege for City to be part of this program over the last 18 years and it would not have been possible without the support of our partnering social service agencies, participating schools, volunteer mentors from City and YMCA, and our family members of the youth. Thank you for the tremendous support, time and guidance that you have provided to aid the youths as they journey through this program. I also wish to thank Mr. Lawrence Wong for your recognition of the Youthful Courses program by being our guest of honor. Our deepest gratitude to our community partner, the YMCA of Singapore, and your leadership, Eng Chong, Steve, and Vincent, for your unwavering dedication to ensure this meaningful program serves as an enablers for youths to apply their passion and skills to make a positive difference in the community. Once again, my sincere congratulations to all the youth participants for doing good. I look forward to seeing to you to grow from strength to strength. Thank you. Take care and stay safe. Thank you, Miss Lacey. Our first batch of team awards will be the YFC Merit Awards. This year, we would like to recognize 12 merit teams for their commendable efforts in championing their social cause. They are Project Ashley's, Project Bowfaith, Project Ethereal, 
Project Guardian, Simply Special, Team Altier, Team Lucida, Team Patronus, Team Sonder, Team Sunflower, Team Super and D-Diabetes. A special award goes to Team Postgenics, who has received the best fund management award for being resourceful in utilising and multiplying their seed funding. Good job! Moving on, let's hear from our guest of honour, Mr. Lawrence Wong, Minister for Education and Second Minister for Finance. Mr. Wong, please. Hi everyone. I first attended the City YMCA Youth for Causes Awards event eight years ago when I was in the Ministry for Culture, Community and Youth. Uh, since then, I've met many groups of young people pursuing their YFC projects. I've always been inspired by their passion to serve and to champion social causes they care about. This year, we have 79 YFC teams. Unfortunately, I can't meet all of you face to face due to the COVID-19 restrictions, so everything is happening online. But I'm even more inspired by the work that you have done. Because amidst this COVID-19 crisis, you've put aside your own personal challenges and stepped up to help others in need. And when the going gets tough, the temptation is to turn inwards and to focus on our own needs. That's not the path you've chosen. Amidst this time of darkness, you've lighted a candle and shown us that there is a better way. Working on your projects this year required creativity, innovation and hard work. You had to come up with new and creative ways to raise funds and engage your beneficiaries and stakeholders. And all of you have risen to the occasion. With the combined efforts of our youth participants, 40 school partners and more than 5,000 volunteers, YFC has raised over 450,000 for 36 social service agencies this year. So well done, everyone. I would also like to thank City Singapore and the YMCA of Singapore for your long-standing commitment to this meaningful initiative which has allowed our youths to contribute year after year. For our youths, I hope the experiences that you have been through this year will continue to shape and guide all of you in your life journey. Volunteering is powerful because it has a profound effect on our lives. It teaches us to care for the well-being of others, especially those in need. When we serve, we meet people in circumstances different from our own. We develop greater empathy and we learn what it means to walk in the shoes of others. We develop a stronger sense of duty and responsibility for our fellow citizens. This binds us and this is what makes us a community. It is this spirit of fellowship and mutual support that is crucial in taking Singapore forward. And that's why the government has launched the Singapore Together movement together with a series of emerging stronger conversations. Our hope is that through these platforms, Singaporeans will feel empowered to get involved, make a difference and contribute to society. All of you are here today because you have a heart for service. You have taken an interest in causes beyond yourselves. So while this may be the end of your YFC projects, I hope it marks the beginning of a lifelong journey of service and contributions towards a greater good. If you want to continue advancing a social cause that you care deeply about, get in touch with us or join one of our conversations. Remember, all of you are change makers in your own right and you can all make a difference in building a better Singapore and a better world. In time, I'm sure your acts of service and volunteering will inspire even more Singaporeans to join our hands and hearts together in this collective endeavour of building a better home for all. So continue chasing the rainbow and continue to be a blessing to others. Thank you very much. Thank you for your support to YFC over the years, Mr Wong. The next batch of team awards would be the YFC Distinction Awards. These are eight teams who have displayed outstanding efforts and were selected by our judges at the final round of judging. They are Project QF, Team Sale, Team Horizon. Additionally, five other teams also won a special award alongside their Distinction Awards. They are 
Poplin Sitas with the Most Innovative Award, Project Ankara with the Entrepreneurship Award, Project Feed A Lot with the Volunteer Mobilization Award, Special Needs Youth with the Public Outreach Award, and Youth Count with the Best Fundraiser Award. We're very proud of what you have accomplished. Next, we have a special feature of Team Youth Counts from ITE College East who supported the Tesla Care Services. They are also recipients of the Distinction and Best Fundraiser Award. Here is their inspiring story. Enjoy! Hi everyone, I'm Danish. Together with me, I have Margie, Trisha and Cheryl Un. Together, we are Team Youth Counts! PCS has a wide range of services such as Excite, where they initiate weekly activities that encourage students to be more active in school. Regarding our video campaign, the team built up a storyboard and connected to our fellow ITE students. Our interviewees are our very own student counselors. Aside from that, we also put up an awareness booth in school. Our volunteers supervising a certain area in school where the students who come by are encouraged to make someone better each day by posting an encouragement note on their ID stories and tag us. In the result, we had about 1,000 views for our video campaign and we raised 86,000. We found that the online campaign is really one of the uh, resources that we have. So we creatively created a video campaign and we seek help from our friends, family, even the corporate donors. And to our surprise, the team did really, really well. I'm happy to share my joy with you today, the achievements of Team Youth Counts, like a very proud parent. Looking into their websites and social media platform, you would have noticed that they have a very powerful message. Be a multiplier who can change the world through giving. When I first saw this message, I thought that it was a message for the donors to encourage them to give and to donate. With the team based something together, we make things from impossible to possible by making use of technology and media. Remember, together we can be a multiplier who can change the world through giving. So I strongly encourage each and every one of you to think about how you can and all continue to be a multiplier who can change the world through giving. We just want to thank the youths for being so passionate and helpful to partner me along in this journey. So well done, Team Youth Counts! Since I'm working a lot, so I can't really focus on my homework a lot. We miss our teachers, we miss our friends, we miss everything that we do in school. I couldn't go out and meet anyone, especially my family members, because like, I don't stay with them. They bring me joy, and like having that joy taken out of your life made me like, go into a, like, a depression mode, honestly. My mom had lost a job for about three months when the pandemic had started. You know, when my mom had her job, right, their salary just barely covers all our expenses at home. Then now with my mom like, losing her job, then my dad will be the only super winner. My mom had passed away when I was primary six. All the burdens is on my dad. And I see that he really looks very tired every day when he comes home after work. She was so stressed. She was so frustrated. I decided to support her by finding a part-time job. My friend had recommended me for this job as a COVID-19 frontline cleaner, I decided to take the risk uh, to work there. One month, I can get about 2.6k. I was working at Subway. Before, they asked me to work around 5 or 6 days per week, but now they only want me to work around 3 to 4 days. Just feel upset and a bit angry, like, because I cannot earn enough money to help my dad to pay the bill also. I mean, it's a bit scary like, when we clean their facility, the pantry, the toilet. Say, so, you know, just at least respect them, like, those are human. But there's a lot of valuable experience I learned during those two months. My mom, she's going through a lot more than I could ever handle, I guess. And, like, and yet, she, she, she smiles, you know. And like, 
she just smiles every year. Then like, I, I love her for that. I would like to pay him back the money in the future, if I can. Let me... Young me. It's for you, mommy. I promise myself to you that I'll work this part time. I feel, I feel proud as a son. I give it to my sister's family because like, she really needs it a lot more than I do. She's diagnosed with depression and stuff. So like, she, she gets stressed quite easily, I guess. And with that money, I could, I could maybe like help her with her mental state of mind. There are people out there who are greatly affected by this COVID-19, uh, both financially and emotionally. I think it's just important to raise some awareness and to like, let those people go through this same thing so know that they're not alone. We are in this hope that everyone will be able to help those people who are in the middle of the world. Let's take a step forward. Well done, Team Youth Count. You are truly an inspiration. We would now like to invite Mr. Vincent Ha, Chairman of the YFC Committee, to give us a vote of thanks. Mr. Ha, please. Mr. Lawrence Wong, Minister for Education and Second Minister for Finance. Ms. Stacey N. Lacey, Managing Director, Asia Pacific Chief Information Officer and Head of Operations and Technology at Citibank. Mr. Teo Eng Chong, President, YMCA of Singapore. And ladies and gentlemen, now on behalf of YMCA and City Singapore, I would like to express our deepest appreciation to our guest of honour tonight, Mr Lawrence Wong, for gracing this event despite his busy schedule. It is indeed a great encouragement to all of us in our continued efforts in nurturing youths to support social causes through the ground-up projects. Next to the 79 YFC teams of 2020, congratulations on successfully completing your project despite the pandemic. You've made a positive impact with the Charities of Your Choice and great job to all of you. Next, we will also like to acknowledge the social service agencies and all the schools that have journeyed with us through the past few months and years. Thank you for your partnership and your participation. The mentors also play a significant role in YFC by providing guidance, support and being the dedicated cheerleaders throughout our participants' YFC journeys. Thank you to all of you for your time, your wisdom and the heart that you pour into all these youths. This is in addition to your own work and family commitments, so thank you to you. Next to the NUS Business School, thank you for partnering with YFC through the YMCA NUS Business School Volunteer Service Management Program to equip all our YFC participants with these important skills so that they can do well in the projects. We thank you for passing on your knowledge and skills since the inception of YFC. We also like to thank our YFC committee and alumni members. You guys have contributed to the smooth running of this program from behind the scenes. Thank you so much for being the invaluable asset to the program and for making this a success. Lastly, we would also like to express our sincerest gratitude to City Singapore for the partnership over the last 18 years. We've had so many precious memories made for both the staff, YFC participants and the whole community and all of us have grown and learned so much through this program. We would like to show a short video sharing some of these YFC moments and express our appreciation for City Lastly, before inviting our General Secretary and CEO, Mr. C. Flo, to say a few words. Enjoy the video. Thank you. It has been an incredibly fruitful 18 years partnering with City for the Youth for Causes program. Since the program's inception in 2002, we have nurtured over 5,000 youths who raised over $10 million for over 150 social service agencies. The number of lives we have touched and uplifted through these efforts are countless. And I'm sure many YFC alumni continue to make a difference in society through their daily lives. The YMCA has been absolutely privileged to be a part of this journey. And we would like to express our sincere appreciation to City for everything they have done for and alongside us. The many friendships we have formed over the past 18 years are invaluable. The comradeship we experienced with the corporate citizenship team and staff from City who have journeyed, mentored and volunteered with us is something we are deeply grateful for. Beyond that, City truly embodies the spirit of stewardship, 
generosity and commitment to giving back to society through their innovative and passionate guidance of youths in this program. Their spirit inspires us to continually develop cutting-edge initiatives to meet society's most pressing needs. Their giving spirit and desire to serve the public have also been truly admirable. We hope many more corporations and organisations will follow their example, leaving no person behind in Singapore society. From the bottom of our hearts, thank you, City. This programme has survived two pandemics, one in 04, and now this. This is a partnership forged in fire. For all you've done, City, thank you, thank you. So I just want to thank Citibank for making it all happen. If not for Citibank, my team wouldn't have had such a great experience learning and you know creating uh, miracles even in the ob obstacles and difficulties. Hello City, I would like to thank you for all your support given in funding the YFC program over the years. With the seed funding, you have allowed many batches of youth to have a suitable platform to champion the various causes to better serve our beloved community. Your continuous support over the years have certainly created a positive impact in many youths like me. With that, thank you, City. From the YFC Alumni Committee, thank, thank you, City. Thank you. Terima kasih. Malami selamat po. Sisiye. Thank you, City. Thank you all. It has truly been a privilege to have you on board the YFC 2020 program. Do look out for more updates on what's coming up. Keep making your own history. Go, go, go! Oh,